Ripley, The Little Wave, Fernanda Imediato e Alan Maia. Translation by Santiago Nazarian. Once upon a time, there was a very special little ripple that lived under the sea. Ripley was always swimming from one place to the other, not ever bothering anyone. Everyone in the white ocean thought Ripley was a very sweet little wave. Though she spent her days playing with animals and weeds at the bottom of the sea, Ripley was never satisfied. She was not happy being just a tiny little wave. She wanted to be big and strong as the waves that come from the far horizon and get to the shore with all their might, splashing seawater all around. So, Ripley began to work day after day to grow up and become stronger. She wanted to show everyone that she could be a big and majestic wave. She worked hard, very hard, and little by little, she became bigger and stronger. She was so proud of herself that she did not notice how big she was becoming. She was getting huge! When she was finally transformed into a big and imponent wave, Ripley noticed that all the sea animals swam away from her when they saw her coming. It was then that she, even being big and strong, began to feel very lonely. Ripley noticed that the sea animals wouldn't play with her anymore. They feared that wave that once was so friendly. So, Ripley decided to be tiny and sweet again. She learned that being big and strong was not as important as being happy with her friends. So Ripley returned to how she once was. She swam hither and thither, never frightening anyone. But now she was glad about herself because she knew that true happiness lies not in being big and powerful, but in being who we are and doing what makes us happy. So Ripley lived happily ever after under the sea, making new friends and playing with them every single day.